C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 3 entitled math magic 3 chapter 11 jugs and mugs page 153 wedding in bunny's family there is a wedding in bunny's family a family of rabbits many guests are invited deer monkey elephant cats dogs mice foxes camels mongoose etc a special drink is served to all the guests one glass each everyone finds the drink very tasty but some small guests like dash dash cannot finish a full glass but dash is able to finish his glass the picture covering the top bottom and right side of the page shows bunny and bunno's wedding scene at the top left corner rabbit is welcoming a monkey in the middle of the top side a newly wedded couple of rabbits is sitting on a sofa and above them from the tree top a banner is hanging with words bunny weds bunno at the top right corner which is at the right side of a sofa there is a drink stall with banner special drinks here many huge glasses are kept on the table and a monkey and a snake hanging from the tree branches above with the help of their tails are serving the drinks an adult turtle and a child turtle are moving towards the rabbit couple seated on the sofa the child turtle is holding a glass on the right side an elephant a giraffe donkey a rat and deers are enjoying the drink at the bottom right corner there is a round clean space like a play area where many animal kids are sitting with glass in their hands trying to finish the drink at the bottom left side two deers are sitting and enjoying the drink page number 154 the story continues from the previous page some others like dash 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 ask for more than one glass now the trouble begins there are some big guests who go on gulping down glass after glass bunny wants to guess who drank how much help him fill the table have fun table below has two columns and four rows title of column 1 is drink how much title of column 2 is name of guest row 1 column 1 less than 1 glass column 2 dash comma dash row 2 column 1 between 1 to 5 glasses column 2 dash comma dash row 3 column 1 between 5 to 10 glasses column 2 dash comma dash row 4 column 1 more than 10 glasses column 2 dash comma dash water in water out have you ever thought like laddu the picture at the right side shows a boy named laddu thinking i drink so much water in a day but all of it does not go out of me where does it go At the right side of Laddu a water bottle and some glasses are kept on the table and on the left side of Laddu at some distance there is a toilet Question 1 about how many glasses of water do you drink in a day Part A summer day dash glasses Part B winter day dash glasses Question 2 Can you guess how much water goes out of you? Page number 
155. Bottles and Buckets Get 1 litre bottle. It can be an empty bottle of water, oil, etc. Now, collect some bottles and a mug, jug, glass, bowl, etc. at your house. Use the 1 litre bottle to check which of these holds more than 1 litre and which one holds less than 1 litre. Make a small drawing if you like. The picture at the left side shows a child pouring water from 1 litre bottle into a pot. Different types of household items such as jugs, bottles, mugs, a pressure cooker, pans, buckets and frying pan are kept around him. There is a table below which has two columns and five rows. Title of first column, less than one litre. Title of second column, more than one litre. Row 1, column 1. Bowl is written with its picture. Column 2, big cooking pot is written with its picture. This row is filled as an example. Row 2 to 5, both columns have blank spaces for writing answers and drawing pictures. Question 1. Now, look at the buckets in your house. Question 2. Guess how many litres of water they can hold. Question 3. Use a 1 litre bottle and check if your guess is right for all the buckets. Table below has 3 columns and 3 rows. Title of column 1 is Bucket. Title of column 2 is My Guess. Title of column 3 is My Measure. Row 1, column 1. Bucket 1 is written. Column 2, dash. Column 3, dash. Row 2, column 1. Bucket 2 is written. Column 2, dash. Column 3, dash. Row 3, column 1. Bucket 3 is written. Column 2, dash. Column 3, dash. Page number 156. Match the right pairs. This page has two columns. Column 1 at the left side has some measures and column 2 at right side has some pictures of water containers. Each column has five parts. A black ant at the top right corner is saying, Come on, guess! Column 1, part A. About 12 litres. Column 1, part B. Less than half litre. Column 1, part C. About 5 litres. Column 1, part D. About 1000 litres. Column 1, part E. Half litre. Column 2, part A. Picture shows a small pot with a handle. Below the picture, two measure milk is written. Column 2, part B. Picture shows water storage tank used at home. Below the picture, water tank is written. Column 2, part C. Picture shows a bucket. Below the picture, bucket is written. Column 2, part D. Picture shows a small dropper bottle. Below the picture, eye drop bottle is written. Column 2, part E. Picture shows an earthen pot with a handle at right side, a mouth at the top and a mouth at left side. Below the picture, water surahi is written. Page number 157. Whose jug holds more? What are Naima and Jitu doing? If Naima pours one glass of water in her jug, it looks like this. Picture below shows a girl sitting on one side of a table. A jug 
about one third filled with water and an empty glass are kept on the table. Naima thinks she will have to pour around three glasses of water to fill the jug. What do you think? Dash. If Jitu pours one glass of water in his jug, it looks like this. Picture below shows a boy sitting on one side of a table. A jug about one third filled with water and an empty glass are kept on the table. Question 1. Whose jug holds more water? Dash. Question 2. How many glasses of water do you think Jitu should pour to fill his jug? Dash. Question 3. If Jitu pours one more glass of water, his jug will be around dash full. Page number 158. Filling Pots Naseem and Abdul had to fill their pots, each with water. Both pots were equally big and heavy. So, they went to the tap again and again, filled their own bottles and poured water into the pots. Picture below shows a girl at the left side, filling her bottle from the tap and at the right side, a boy is filling water from the tap. At the centre, there are two earthen pots kept at some distance from them. Naseem had to fill her bottle 16 times from the tap, but Abdul had to fill his bottle only 8 times. Question 1. Why did Naseem go more times than Abdul? Question 2. Naseem's bottle can hold dash twice or half or three times as much water as Abdul's bottle. How many glasses? Picture below shows three utensils, two earthen pots marked as A and B and one empty glass. Pot A is bigger than Pot B. Question. Pot B holds 11 glassfuls of water. Pot A holds twice as much water as Pot B. How many glasses of water are needed to fill Pot A? Dash. Footnote. In class, children need to speak about their own daily experiences of measuring liquids and comparing the size of different containers. They must get many opportunities to use words like glass full, bucket full, etc. They will also get familiar with ideas such as half, twice, four times the amount of water and a sense of roughly how much one litre is. Page number 159 Filling Potholes This is a small town near Kohima. There are many potholes in the road. Before the rains come, children want to fill the holes with pebbles. They bring pebbles in mugs of the same size. Hole A gets filled with 9 mugs of pebbles. Hole B gets filled with 18 mugs of the pebbles. Hole C gets filled with 12 mugs of pebbles. Picture below shows a road with three potholes at some distance from each other. At the beginning of the road, three children, each holding a mug in their hand, are sitting near a huge mound of pebbles. Near each pothole, two children are filling the pothole with pebbles. Pothole 1 is smaller than pothole 2. Pothole 2 is smaller than pothole 3. Question 1. Mark A, B, C on the right hole in the picture. Question 2. Which is the biggest pothole? Dash. Question 3. If jugs are used, hole A gets filled with 5 jugs. How many jugs of pebbles are needed to fill hole B? Dash. The chapter 11 Jugs and Mugs of total 14 chapters of the book ends here. Narrator Akash Ahuja. 
साउंड रिकॉर्डिस्ट बटिल एंगलिंगडो एंड मयंक कुमार असिस्टेंस इन प्रोडक्शन बाय तनु गुप्ता प्रोड्यूसर विमलेश चौधरी दिस बुक इज प्रेजेंटेड टू यू बाय सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी न्यू डेली इंडिया